From dazzling the prestigious Barcelona Academy to gracing the grandest stages of club football just last season, Andre Onana was one of the most crucial pieces on the squad. Now, imagine moving to Manchester United and suddenly your career takes a shocking nosedive. It's not just about a chip resulting in a goal. It's about watching a once promising goalkeeper morph into a meme, making Manchester United a place where careers seem to wither away. Today, we dive into the highs and lows, the triumphs and pitfalls of Andre Onana's incredible journey. Let's kick it off. Imagine a young boy from Cameroon dreaming big, his eyes set on the glittering world of European football. Andre Onana, that boy didn't just dream, he made it a thrilling reality, moving from his hometown to the prestigious Barcelona Youth Academy, all thanks to the Samuel Eto'o Foundation. Barcelona was just the beginning, a place where Onana learned the ropes, but due to some tricky rules about being young and from another continent, he had to spend some time playing for other teams in Spain. Think of it as an unexpected detour on his journey to greatness. Then came Ajax, the place where Onana's career really took off. Here, he transitioned from a hopeful young talent to the main man guarding the goal, becoming a fan favorite and a key player for the team. But life has a way of throwing curveballs. Onana's journey hit a bump when he was banned for a year after mistakenly taking a substance that was off-limits. It was a mix-up with his wife's medication, a plot twist you wouldn't believe if it wasn't true. Yet, like in any great story, our hero fought back, managed to get the ban reduced, and returned to the field with even more determination. Next up, Inter Milan, where Onana proved he's not just about making saves, but also about winning titles. His performance there caught the eye of none other than Pep Guardiola, who was amazed at how Onana played more like a midfielder than a keeper. This is the level of skill we're talking about. Onana wasn't just part of the game, he was changing how it's played. Andre Onana's time at Inter Milan was nothing short of spectacular, especially when it came to his Champions League performances. Making history, Onana became the first Inter Milan goalkeeper to keep seven clean sheets in a single UEFA Champions League season. This is particularly impressive, considering the caliber of goalkeepers Inter's had in the past, including legends like Julio Cesar, Walter Zenga, Francesco Toldo, and Samir Handanovic. His achievement underlines his impact and solidifies his position as a top goalkeeper in European football. Onana's efforts were crucial in helping Inter Milan reach the Champions League final, a feat that filled him and the team with immense pride. Celebrating their victory over AC Milan in the semi-finals, Onana shared his excitement and pride for his team on social media, marking their advancement to the final against formidable opponents like Manchester City or Real Madrid. Fast forward to the present, and Onana's time at Manchester United has become synonymous with struggles and scrutiny. The once insane reaction time seemed replaced by hesitation and errors. It's like he went from being a superhero in gloves to that one friend who always fumbles the ball in a casual game. It started with a nightmarish 3-3 draw against Galatasaray, where critics questioned his positioning and adaptability to the rigorous Premier League standards. Imagine playing a video game on easy mode, and then suddenly it's all impossible. That's the jump Onana had to deal with. His once golden gloves appeared tarnished, making him the most talked about goalkeeper for all the wrong reasons. It was as if every time he went to make a save, the ball was like, nope, man just did its own thing. The fans were in disbelief, going from singing his praises to wondering if he was playing with butter on his gloves. Social media was ruthless, with memes flying faster than the goals that slipped past him. Commentators had a field day analyzing every move, questioning if Manchester United had kept the receipt for him. The scrutiny was intense, like being under a microscope if that microscope was also throwing tomatoes at you. Despite the pressure, Onana tried to stay positive, but the mistakes kept coming, each one seemingly more spectacular than the last. It was like watching a how-not-to-be-a-goalkeeper tutorial in real time. 
teammates were supportive, but you could see their hesitation in passing the ball back to him, as if considering if it was a safer bet to just keep it and hope for the best. The coach's hat seemed to grow faster than usual, each game adding a year to his appearance. Onana's struggles were not just a personal battle, but a team-wide saga that played out in front of millions. Training sessions became therapy sessions, with everyone trying to boost his confidence back to its former glory. Imagine a bunch of grown men, in shorts, giving pep talks like parents at a little league game. That was the vibe at Manchester United. The turmoil extended to the 2024 Africa Cup of Nations, where Onana traveled over 5,000 miles only to be left out of the opening game squad. It's like being invited to the biggest party of the year, flying across the world and then being told you can't come in because you're wearing the wrong shoes. The tournament became a saga of disappointment, from a horrid first game to subsequent benching in Cameroon's last match. The whole experience was less dream come true and more nightmare on repeat. The once confident goalkeeper now found himself battling not just on the pitch, but against a growing lack of confidence, leading to a string of mistakes and memes. The fans back home were torn between supporting their national hero and joining the global chorus of critics. It didn't help that the team's performances were as inconsistent as a Wi-Fi signal in the middle of nowhere. Each game was like a roller coaster, except it was all drops and no highs. Onana's benching became the subject of heated debates, with everyone from taxi drivers to politicians weighing in. It was the hot topic, replacing even the weather as the go-to starter conversation. The memes were relentless, with the internet dubbing him the Phantom of the Opera for his disappearing act from the starting lineup. Behind the scenes, Onana was grappling with the reality of his situation, trying to find the silver lining in being the world's most overqualified bench warmer. Imagine training your whole life for a moment, and when it finally comes, you're just there sitting and watching. The coach's decision to bench him was like a mystery wrapped in an enigma, leaving everyone guessing the reason. Was it a tactical move, or did Onana accidentally like a tweet criticizing the coach? The world may never know. As the tournament progressed, the controversy only grew, with Onana's benching becoming a symbol of everything that fans felt was wrong with the team's management. The situation was a mess, with more drama than a telenovela and more twists than a pretzel factory. It was as if the scriptwriters for 2024 decided to focus on chaos and forgot to add in the redemption arc. Examining, Onana's performances revealed specific technical flaws, shaky handling, questionable positioning, and an alarming drop in his once impressive save rate. It was as though someone had replaced his goalkeeping manual with a cookbook, and all he could serve up were goals. The Champions League showcased Onana tied for the most goals conceded, coupled with an abysmal save rate. He was like a fisherman who only caught boots, utterly ineffective and slightly amusing. His unique style, once celebrated, now faced criticism for its lack of effectiveness in the Premier League pressure cooker. What was once seen as avant-garde was now just guard-awful. The move to Manchester United, touted as a reunion with success, turned into a challenge that could define his career. It was supposed to be a homecoming king moment, but he ended up being the court jester. Critics were relentless, dissecting his every move like a frog in a high school biology class. Fans began to reminisce about the good old days, when the worst thing they had to worry about was the price of pies at half-time. Onana's every step was scrutinized, with people analyzing his game with the intensity of someone defusing a bomb. The goalkeeper's jersey, once a symbol of pride, now seemed heavier, like it was made of lead. It was as if every goal conceded added another pound to its weight. Training sessions became less about tactics and more about existential questions, like what is a ball and why does it hate me? The technical staff was on edge, throwing around fancy football jargon that sounded more like a Starbucks order than a game plan. We need more pressing, less spacing, and a double shot of confidence on the side, please. Onana's technical flaws were not just a personal issue, but a collective headache, sparking debates on whether goalkeeping was an art, a science, or just plain witchcraft. 
Imagine trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded while riding a unicycle. That was Onana trying to get back to form. As we witness Onana's journey from the pinnacle of European football to the struggles at Manchester United, we can't help but root for his redemption. What do you believe is the key to Onana's resurgence? How can he overcome his current challenges? If you've been captivated by this roller coaster ride, hit the like button, subscribe for more football content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Join the conversation as we explore the fascinating narratives within the world of football. Check out our other videos for more intriguing tales. Until next time, see ya on the pitch.